A capital is a city, usually where a region's government is located. This is where government buildings are and where government leaders work. A region can be defined as a nation, state or province. A capital city is usually a country's biggest, most popular and greatest city. Just like London, Bangkok, Tokyo or Rome. However, this isn't always the case with the likes of Australia, New Zealand and the US, whose most popular cities are Sydney, Auckland and New York City respectively not being their capital cities. Hey guys, Sam here from the Geography Bible, how's it going? In this video we will give you some of the world's wackiest, strangest and bizarre capital cities. Some of these are strange for political reasons, some for geographical and some are just straight up bizarre and mind boggling. So let's kick off this video with a nice and easy familiar one, London, England. The city where the old meets new, where guards wear funny hats and where there is a train platform that is nine and three quarters. And where crows guard a tower that if flew away would signify the falling of the crown and Britain itself. Then we have Nepitar, a planned capital you may never have heard of, yet it has existed for more than 10 years now. Built at a cost of around $5 billion from the ground up, it is truly beautiful. A city with beautiful golden monuments, with palaces and perfect gardens to accompany them. The city is four times the size of London, but has less than a million people. And next up we've got Astana or Nur Sultan, the capital of Kazakhstan. The completed part boasts beautiful modern skyscrapers, the largest tent structure in the world containing a mall, a food court and a third floor beach with sand imported from the Maldives. There is also a mosque and the second largest synagogue on the same street. There are modern sports facilities, two football stadiums, a beautiful bike racing centre built in the shape of a bicycle helmet, martial arts arenas and many more. Sounds amazing right? Well the other half of the city is a barren wasteland. Next up we've got an Gurlamud, which is the capital of Palau. So for those of you who have heard of this country for the first time, Palau is a small archipelago country located in the Pacific Ocean. It was colonized by Germany, Japan and finally the US. In 1994 this country gained independence and when I first saw pictures of the Palau capital city, I couldn't believe that this country only has a population of around 17,000. Its buildings are magnificent and look like something straight out of Washington DC. Next up we've got Ashgabat in Turkmenistan. Guinness World Records has recognised it as the city having the highest density of white marble clad buildings, 543 and counting. The LM Cultural and Entertainment Centre is another holder of a Guinness World Record for having the world's largest indoor ferris wheel at more than 150 feet high. The wheel offers splendid views of the city. Turkmenistan's tallest building, a television tower perched on a hill overlooking the city, has has again a Guinness World Record for the largest architectural star in the world. The presidential palace has golden statues as far as the eye can see along with marble and other precious metals courting the nearby landmarks. Then we have Nuuk in Greenland. Nuuk, Greenland's capital, is a small city on the country's southwest coast. Its large fjord system is known for waterfalls, humpback whales and icebergs. The waterfront is dotted with brightly coloured houses against the backdrop of beautiful mountains. And then we have Pyongyang, North Korea. Need I say any more? One of the most notoriously strange places in the world. Home to the tallest unoccupied building in the world, the Ryongyong Hotel, which dominates the skyline. And then we have Baku of Azerbaijan. What's really unusual about Baku, in my opinion, is its architecture. After all, how many cities in the world can you find historical Islamic buildings right next to brand new super skyscrapers? And the modern architecture is stunning. Where do we start? Okay, maybe with the 597 foot tall flame towers, which are absolutely beautiful at night. Or how about the innovative Haydar Eliev Center? Then there is a building also shaped like a carpet, and also the spiral shaped Sokar Tower. And then we have South Africa, the country with three capitals, Bloemfontein, the judicial capital of South Africa, Cape Town, the legislative capital of South Africa, and then Pretoria, the administrative capital of South Africa. And then we have 11 countries with identical capitals being Singapore, Vatican City, Monaco, Panama, Kuwait, 
Djibouti, Luxembourg, San Marino, Gibraltar, Guatemala, and Mexico. Then we have the Congo and the DR Congo, because their capitals, Brazzaville and Kinshasa respectively, are located on the opposite sides of the Congo River, making them the only capitals that border each other. If the two Congos united, Brazzaville and Kinshasa could become the African version of Buda and Pesh. Speaking of Budapest, we have Hungary. Its capital city is Budapest, which was created in 1873 as the unification of three cities, Pest, Buda and Obuda. Slovakia, because Bratislava is the only capital in the world that lies on the border with two foreign countries, being Austria and Hungary. And Bratislava was the capital of Hungary for 308 years, which is more than twice as much as the time that has passed since the unification of Budapest. Switzerland, because they believe in direct democracy and equality so much that they don't even want to name an official capital city. Bern is just where the city's federal parliament is located. Sweden, because Stockholm is made up of 14 islands. Brazil, because their capital, Brasilia, was built in the 60s in literally the middle of nowhere. Italy, because Rome is the only capital that has an enclave, namely Vatican City State, and both the Italian embassy to Vatican and the Vatican embassy to Italy is located in Rome, in Italian territory. And finally, to end the video, here are the top most mistaken capital cities in the world. Let us know if any of these caught you out. We have Istanbul, Turkey. The actual capital is Ankara. Then we have Geneva, Switzerland. The actual capital is Bern. Then we have Marrakesh, Morocco, which I did not know. The capital is actually Rabat. Then we have Auckland, New Zealand. The actual capital is Wellington. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Nope, it's Brasilia. Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. The actual capital is Dodoma. Joburg or Johannesburg, South Africa. Nope, it's actually Bloemfontein. Cape Town and Pretoria. Toronto, Canada? Nope, it's actually Ottawa. La Paz, Bolivia. The actual capital is Sucre. Tel Aviv, Israel? The actual capital is Jerusalem. Sydney, Australia? The actual capital is Canberra. And finally, the United States of America. You would think that New York is its capital, but no, of course, it is Washington, D.C. So where are you from? What is your capital? Do you like it or is it overrated? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, consider dropping a like. And if you love this sort of content and learning about countries and cities from around the world, consider subscribing to our channel. It is completely free and we've got plenty more to come. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you very soon in the next video. Thank you.